Bless and love. Bless and love to you too. How is everything going in Jamaica? Everything is going all right, Queen. Okay, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. Now, do you still live in Water House? In the, where you Water House. Okay. Um, I still live, I still have a house in Water House. You know, I don't really live live there, but I, I, I was there last night. I was there yesterday. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I frequent the area. You know, okay. very often, and you know, well, I'm I'm kind of I I born and growing at Kingston Eleven, but now okay. I'm mostly based in Kingston Ten. You know. Right, right. Well, welcome to Rugo Radio. For those of you that don't know, this is the legendary Junior Reed. Rugo so, Radio. Yes, it is like so amazing to have you here. Did you see the picture of the record that I sent you? Yeah, I love it. I, I see you as a JR fan from way back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, so before we get into the interview, I did have a fun question that I wanted to ask you, and it is about me. Yeah. What is... DJ Roots Queen's favorite Junior Reed song. Your favorite Junior Reed song. Mm hmm It's not One Blood. I know, I know. That's too easy. Um, let's see. Oh man. I, I, I think I hear was pain. Um, is we song on is we song? Eh? It's old. Bag alert. Not bag alert. I'll tell you what it is. Banana boat, man. Banana boat, man. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> it's come, it's gonna be coming on my June Reed It Platinum. I'm coming on to the album called June Reed It's Plat um June Reed Platinum It's Volume One. Okay. And it consists of um songs like One Blood, Married Life, Banana Boat Man, Bad Man. Mm -hmm. All those songs, you know. Yeah. So. Married Banana, life. Banana boat man. What yeah. What is that song about? Banana boat man is a song about you know. You know, um, like when you're traveling overseas and sometimes, you know, when it when it like when it, when you travel overseas, and I I see like you know, I get it. I, I get the experience by looking at some some movie. Mm -hmm. you know, like, for instance, even before the Scarface movie, because Scarface movie is about banana boat, man. Right, it's always right. Say, when, when I travel to foreign, I always hear people, you know, having a, 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 a argue, you know, they quarrel with each other. And some mm -hmm. are saying, you know, banana boat, man, or whatever. So, you know, you understand me? Mm -hmm. And things like that, you know? Right, and even right. locally, even locally, you know, when some people, you know, say, oh, I like I want to like a version of that somewhere. Like, I travel a lot and I go a foreign a foreign belief. I say okay. a foreign belief, a banana boat man. You know what I mean? <laughs> right, that's funny. So, um, tell me about your recent collaboration projects that you have out now with Lil Wayne. You have one with Lil Wayne and one with Massive B, right? Yeah, one with Lil Wayne and one with Mass um, with produced by Massive B with um, um, with Cheddar Boss and Skrilla. It's mm. called Bug Alert, and, and I also got. The next release called Mother Nature with June Reed and Julian Marley. Oh, yeah. I, I wanted to ask you about the Julian yeah. Marley record, too. Yeah, and I also released a, a single from the Legend album, June Reed Living Legend album, Blue Light, Red Light. Okay. You know? Yeah. Okay, awesome. And then I did watch the videos that you sent me. I thought the videos were amazing. The first one that I wanted to ask you about is the Where I Come From video. What was the inspiration? Like, what made you want to tell that story about where you came from and do the song okay. and the video right in front of your house that you grew up yeah, in? Yeah, that little house, you see, that's the little house I grew up in. And, um, you know, we have to show the people them where I'm coming from, you know, and from coming from there, so and reach up in Beverly, live in Beverly Hills, have a house in Beverly Hills. Mm -hmm. That's a big achievement as a ghetto youth, you understand me? Oh, taking, yeah. the ghetto, taking the ghetto of town, you understand me? Mm -hmm. The whole world is a ghetto, you understand me? Same people in the ghetto, you understand me? So mm -hmm. that is just a very show you them so they can get an inspiration from that. And and going back to the era and shooting, um, doing that video there and all of that is, is just to show the people them say, I never forget where I come from. And you know, because if you forget where you come from, you're not going to know where you're going. I get a lot of inspiration from the ghetto. It made me who I am today. You understand mm -hmm. me? So, I have to respect and know so well, yeah. Even when I check it uptown mm -hmm. and the ghetto, 
we get to have even more vibes than Uptown because when you go Uptown, people stay in. The sound of the production of the record brought me back to like 2005, like culture type record. Who produced the, the song? Yeah, that was produced by Junior Reed for JR Production. Oh, so you produce, that's right, you are a producer. You produce your own beats and stuff too, right? Yeah, I produce, I pro, I produce and I work with other producers. Okay. So I produce where I come from and I produce a song called Blue Light, Red Light as well. And mm -hmm. um, Massive B produce um, Swag Alert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love the Bag and Alert song. Produce, and Reefer, Reefer produced the song with me and Lil Wayne called Murder. Okay. Dope. I actually, I saw you perform recently. I saw you in 2018. Um, you know, I was on Team Disturbing London, so I was on the Disturbing London stage, and I was watching you perform <laughs> on the Ear Drummer yeah, stage. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, they got you on your ring. It was, it was, it was amazing. And then the other time that I saw you perform, um, we were DJing. I wasn't DJing, but my crew was DJing in Tampa. And this was when yeah. Game was, when One Blood was out by the game. And it was right. Club, yeah. I think the name of the club was called Club Excess. And it was in Tampa. It was like 2005, right. 2000. Right. Yeah, right. that was like the first right. time that I had, had seen you. Okay, so... What is your favorite? Do you like jerk chicken or curry chicken? I don't like, I don't eat chicken. I don't like okay. chicken. Are you a vegetarian? That was going to be my next question. Um, I'm a vegetarian, like a, a vegetarian that eat fish and them things. Like, okay, so you eat, okay. Food. So pescatarian, yeah, that's what, that's what I try to be. So um, now I've heard that the COVID is kind of leaving Jamaica now. How is everything going down there with the COVID stuff? The Jamaica is controlling the COVID, you know, you know, cause um, mm -hmm. it's like I don't know if it's the weather or if it's the food, you know. I think it's the you know, so I think it's the ital. They say ital is vital, you know. <laughs> it, yeah, is the food help us a lot because we eat more natural. You understand me? Because mm -hmm. sometimes, you know, like we have we get more natural food from the ground. You see, like when I travel overseas and like I'm on tour now, I have to eat a lot of things that are not natural. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Because you see, when the people them feed from the pizza and the cup soup and the, the burger and certain kind of thing. No, you don't really build up the immune system and make them that strong, you know? Mm -hmm. When you eat up the kalalo and the okra and the cucumber and the susumba mm -hmm. and the isumba and all of these things, why long enough coconut milk and just mm -hmm. everything fresh from the earth, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. with, all the, with, all, with all the virus and everything that's going around and so, the tree mm -hmm. don't really have the virus. Mm -hmm. Tree them free and the birds them free and the, the, the cat and the dog running around same and everybody you understand me? Yes, exactly. We have to try. We have to, man, so we have to be like the trees that planted by the rivers of water that bring it food, fruit in due season. So mm -hmm. we have to live like the tree, and just natural. Mm -hmm. Surviving the government, so the tree are where we are, are afraid or scared or anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But my people are scared, so we have to just you know get lead the people to the right way. We have to just live right, eat right. Mm -hmm. And let's try to do everything right. Yes, exactly. So backing up to, we were just talking about One Blood. How did you link up with Mims and the game during that era where they were doing a lot of collaborations with you? Oh, all right. Um, the producer, same guy that produced Chuck on the Lil Wayne album, Free Little Weezy album, Reefa, um, he's the guy that sampled the song and produced the song. Mm -hmm. Okay. Game and the and the game, game, game like it, and then, uh, then uh, we get to link up from there. We're going to the school and we do some look more things to it, and go okay. like that. And then after that, no, I'm in New York and I'm getting a call in Miami. Say they have an artist, have a truck, and he would like get me on the truck. And I was in New York at the time. We never, you know, never really get forget in touch with him mm -hmm. right away. So it happened that one time me I passed through Miami you now and going through. You know, part, and we say some people want to see over us through there and through there close by. And, and I'm a bridge, you know, know the people, them, the artists, them. So I'm sorry, right, we're still a pass through, pass through. I'm going to just give them a vibes and just sing it for them, man. You know, they're even charging the money now. No? Just do it as a thing. You know, we did not leave yeah. the school and not remember about this. But this is why I'm at. Uh -huh. If somebody asks one last time, they go, I will make, I'll make it up and I make it on the spot. That's amazing. You know yes, that yeah. there's no way in. God's green earth that those songs would have been as big as they were without you on them. You were like the person that yeah. made the, like, this is why I'm hot, you know, <laughs> like seriously, like everybody knows that, you know, 
So yeah. did you realize that when you were doing those collaborations that you would like literally single-handedly bring reggae music into the forefront for the past decade? Yeah, I know that. I know that. Because, um, all right, you see, you see so far, there's a lot, if you, if you even check the, the, the if you check the hip hop game right now, you know, mm -hmm. um, the hip hop game and the reggae game now, most of the hip hop artists, them, they, they mostly work with Junior Reed, because they know, they know Junior Reed have an international sound where it, it reaches people them ears, and once it reaches people them ears, they going to accept it and so, you know, because mm -hmm. right now, out of Jamaica, I am the only reggae artist really, you know, doing a lot of collaboration with international artists. And it's not like I'm paying to get the international artists on my album. Mm -hmm. You know, them pay for get me on them album. You understand me? Oh, yeah. That is a, is a good sign. You understand me? Mm -hmm. and, and I also want them on my album too, but it's a good thing when they want you on their album. Yeah. You understand me? Yeah, exactly. But a lot of artists now try to get foreign artists on their album. Mm -hmm. But they're not on the foreign artist album. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. You know, because okay. sometimes the foreign artists have a bigger budget company behind them to take your thing to the next level. And so, you understand me? Yeah, it just so, really depends on like the machine. Them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. right now, um, for the first degree murder, the murder song, um, right now, me and Little Wayne people matter. Maybe we're going to have a video shoot for that. You know, anything is possible. I'm talking to the producer. And mm -hmm. it looked like we weren't we shoot a video for the for the first degree murder, you know. So that's a good vibe. But I'm saying, you know, I'm taking reggae music on the for, the forefront. Mm -hmm. After after passing a Bob Marley, well, when Bob Marley died, you know, reggae music was just seven years old. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And that's and, and that's the time when I just came on the scene. Right. You understand me? And I've been holding it down from that time till now. You understand me? And yes. teaching the youth them, showing them the direction and. Oh, for the other thing, and you know, some be a father mm -hmm. of the business, same way. Okay, who is your reggae best friend in the reggae music? Like, what's an artist that is you are the best friends with? The best friend in a reggae right now, as an artist, mm -hmm. over the years. That's a question, you know, because <laughs> to talk about and, and, and say that this man is the best friend, you know, you know something sometimes you can't make people know your best friend, okay, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. because. Sometimes you know what people may want to get to you and they get to your best friend. Mm. You know, so, you know, so, advice. Yeah, so, I got you. Not saying nobody won't get to me, but at the end of the day, still, you don't mm. you know make everybody know everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know, the, in a reggae music, my best friend is just what. Mm -hmm. It's just you know, the youth them who I keep the positive message and okay. I uplift the nation. We we say the good words and word are right. You know, you can uplift other spirit and uplift other life. And mm -hmm. now nah, promote gun, you know, the, nah, tell the youths them if they go out there go deal with gun thing and then get away. I tell you, say, done with gun thing, gun are the biggest enemy to man. Life or life over death. You understand me? Because yes. the gun have sense. The gun don't have any sense, you know. It's just a man behind it. So if, if the gun is a big fool. The gun can be in the corner there, son. If you don't move it and nobody touch it, it can't go nowhere. It's just going to just be there. Mm -hmm. But when we go take it up now, we get, we get life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Which, That's you know, a big thing. Huh? That's a big thing right now. You know, we just lost um, an artist the other day due to gun violence in Atlanta when a QC's right. on. Right, right. That's where I was going at with that question was definitely wanted to talk to you about the content of music. Like, do you think that that has an influence on, on the gun culture in America and Jamaica and, the, and stuff like that in the street? Yeah, man. Um, you see, the gun music, that's why you don't see Gun Factory doing any gun advertisement because the music is already doing free advertisement for, for Clark and Woozy and M M M M M M16 and all these things. Mm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. You're getting free advertisement through the music and through the radio station and all of the, the television station, the radio station, the movie. So they don't have to do promotion like Coca-Cola and Pepsi and all those people. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, we do it for them. And, you know, and I, as I'm a DJ, so I literally will play it too. And, you know, I have gun sounds in my arsenal for the right. little sampler and everything. I don't know. Right. So especially, and then, you know, with sound clash culture. So, so, the, so, so the whole, the whole thing is, you know, it's just a, it's a, it's just a big thing to Babylon set the system. You understand me? Mm -hmm. Sometimes they make, they make, they, they make all me be a part of the system and don't even know. 
Mm-hmm. You understand me? Mm-hmm. I make you a part of the system, and which is not that you stand for. But you, you may be playing a music, and it is not really, you know, you don't think of violence behind the music, but you just play it with vibes, you know, really? mm-hmm. while somebody else I think say, so, yeah, oh, this, you know, that's pretty different, but mm-hmm. that's hurt, you know? Yeah, so, okay. Another fun question, because we were just talking about some heavy stuff. What is your favorite movie out of these two movies? Rockers or The Harder They Come? Rockers and The Harder They Come. I mean, never like how them deal the other day come because I like to when Star die in movie. Mm-hmm. Mm. When Star die in a movie, you can't get to star the other movie, the part two or the part three. Mm-hmm. You know, that movie should be like the, the star gets away and right. it's overseas and foreign. And when you right. come back to Jamaica, it's part two and it's keep going and money keep growing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But the people them who organize that movie, they may just want a one movie. Or maybe they never really understand or maybe they just plan to just give up just do a one move and it's other day come and that's it mm-hmm. you know what i mean rockers again now um rockers is a a movie where put out certain culture song in it and you know it promotes certain things but certain things where we're I mean, not really supporting our rockers too and them thing there as well you understand me mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. at the end of the day um and, and uh, you see that the, the movie there, because sometimes them, them, them do some movie, and then uh, when, when, when they put it out, it's like a, it's like, it's like a school then. The movie, are like, you, you understand me? So, so you would watch the movie and things, so it really goes, you when know, so it go. Because you know, they get to, we don't go in a store and take out things and can't go get to poor people. You understand know me? Right, it's right. We really music and we do something, and we, you understand know me? And mm-hmm. we, 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 we know, you know, you understand know me? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That are rockers and everything thing there. And in the director in another movie, they kind of approach you, rust upon mm-hmm. some little vibes, some little negative vibes, which is we're not, we're not right. the level. I know but exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, but at the time, at the time now, two man need money and need funds and everything there. Man just do something and, and not even know them at all. But there are a lot of movies come to me and I turn it down because not every movie move me. Right, right. You understand me? Mm-hmm. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, the movie has to be positive. It has to be about something we're going to elevate the people of the world. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I just, you felt like it could, have been bigger. it could have been bigger. So what is your favorite foundation rhythm? Favorite foundation rhythm? Mm-hmm. Oh, I have a favorite foundation rhythm. Well, one of your favorite. You have, you have some questions. You have a okay. team. <laughs> my favorite foundation rhythm. You mean like foundation rhythm before me in the mute before even my time in the music? Yeah, like maybe something that Sly and Robbie did or something that like turned into like I'm a like, well, I'm oh, mine is real rock. Sata Masagana. Sata Masagana. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Those song, I come and see those songs in the business. Now those reading a word. Miami, huh? You just said a word. A lot of these viewers, you know, a lot of these viewers are young, you know, they don't necessarily know what that means. What does Sata Masagana mean? Can you tell the youth what that means? Yeah, Sata Masagana. You know that big youth song, Anna Bobina Banya. Yeah. Is Sata Masagana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Sata Masagana is like, you know, it's, it's about Ghana, Africa. Mm-hmm. You understand me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's why that instrument, that tam, tam, tam. Uh, repatriation. Uh, yeah, so like, yeah, so like, it's so like the land, motherland, Africa, you know. Yeah, yeah, especially that, and you know that particular dun dun dun. Like, there is an old Jewish song that has something very, very similar that you'll hear if you watch any like old like Hebrew movie or something. Like they'll like when the main character comes on, if they're Hebrew, they'll always play like something that yeah. sounds like gypsy music in the background or something. Right, it's the same kind right. of, it's the same kind of vibe of like being gone from where your home is that's what how I, it was right. like described to me it's kind of hard to explain so okay favorite vintage reggae artist favorite vintage reggae artist living or it, it, it doesn't have to be living or dead or alive dead or alive eh? dead or alive yeah my favorite vintage reggae artist you know that's dennis brown dennis brown mm-hmm. rest in peace i would say dennis brown you know what i was 
had something in my mind earlier. And I was more, really. And you model, more put you more in adventure. You model is more like a, a culture mm -hmm. artist. Um, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. culture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was always, I'd have to say one of mine that is not known, my biggest the one that is known is Dennis Brown. The other one that is not known is um, Johnny Osborne. Okay. I love Johnny Osborne. Uh, yeah. Did you know? Did you know any of those old artists from growing Jan, up? Johnny Asburn, yeah, man. Johnny Asburn is my friend. Oh yeah. Dennis, I produced an album with Dennis Brown. Okay. That's I mean, Johnny Asburn. Even we worked together. Me and Johnny Asburn worked together. He's amazing. And, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they they give me strength on GR production label. You know. So Jet, I watched the video to Jet. Did it fire? Did you yeah. did you come up with the dances or did you hire kids to come do the dances and come and formulate the dance? Yeah, well, um, we just we just ask people, um, ask some people to just come take part in it, mm -hmm. and then you know, we have our dancers them to wear them take part in it. You know, we just imply them to come in and come give it a strength and so. Mm -hmm. We have not yeah, just like that, and we just take it to the street, you know, roll out the jet, you know. <laughs> yes, I really. <laughs> you see what happened since the Corolla now, you know, through the Corolla we can't really roll out the jet. Mm -hmm. so, uh, the whole town was locked, closed down, so. There was no jet, no, no, the jet was moving. You know, the only way I could jet out is that I fly out on the private jet. Right. And I fly out on my private strip. But like, like when the airport will open up again, mm -hmm. and it's, everything is getting, you know, normal again, we have to roll out the jet, you know, because the jet them start to fly again now. Mm -hmm. so, okay. I want to get your perspective on one more thing before we get into these two new music videos, Pondaroo Girl Radio. I want to know, what you think about people saying that Afro beats is the new dance hall music? Afro beats is just part of the culture. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's the same music, man. It's the same music. It's one music, you know, one love, one people, one art, one God, one name, one destiny. Yes. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. the music, that's the same music, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but with different style. Mm -hmm. The same music with different song. Mm -hmm. And the same music with some different words. You understand me? Mm -hmm. And you see, once some music have a message into it, though, that's reggae music. Mm -hmm. You see, once some music have a message into it, that's dancehall music. But you see, once some music don't have no message into it, also, it's though I don't consider it as reggae music and I don't consider it as dancehall music. Mm -hmm. The Almighty God, Holy Manuel, I say, and Jar Rastafari, I say, there will be, be, be a time we have to praise him in the dance. And if you have a praise God in the dance, you can't sing certain songs in the dance. So that couldn't be dance and music. Right. So we have to make sure we have the right music to play for praise in the dance. Mm -hmm. You understand me? So that's the foundation of reggae music. Reggae music is a transportation that takes around the message worldwide of one to love. the people. Okay, I did have one more question that I forgot to ask. Who's your favorite new reggae artist? Juju Blood. Okay. I'm going to check him Juju out. Juju Blood. Juju Blood? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And is that your uh, son? He yeah, is my son. Okay. Okay. How many kids do you have? I can say that every youth has my um let me give you every youth love worldwide, internet locally and internationally. Because if he's a father, you have to just not be a father for just your youth. You have to be a father for, for all youth. And that, that's why the youth them call me Father Reed. I didn't tell him to call me Father Reed. I'm the first man in Jamaica. Youth just come to us and Father Reed, Father Reed. That's why time I was saying, don't call me a father, Rick, because too much people call me father. Sometimes right. I wonder if I hold me look old while I call me father. They say, me your father, I look like a father. Don't call me a father. <laughs> I know. <laughs> in Atlanta, after I man say, no, man, I respect that. Yeah. Father, I respect. <laughs> in Atlanta, they want to call the OGs, they want to call them unk. And they're like, no, don't call me unk. You make me seem old. <laughs> That's what they <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> I know. I really I know or they call me big sis. I'm like, okay, I might be older than you, but dang, leave. Well, I really appreciate you for stopping through Ruger Radio. Um, can you just give me a drop? The drop is and I really enjoy your energy. Yeah, thank you. No problem. I really enjoy your energy. You got a great energy. I like your vibes. Thank you. Appreciate it. That's not anybody that you want to talk. This is Junior Reason and it's stay tuned to Rude Girl Radio for the best in music. Reggae, hip hop, R and B, anything in music, Rude Girl Radio. Yes. One blood. One, One blood. blood. Awesome. We're going to get into this new music video first. We are going to do Where I Come From, and then we're going to play Jet. I'm 
my yeah. sister used to sleep right in her so. You understand? Mm. And, and that, that do ever come through all the while. And my community, it's my people them. You understand? So come talk to you. Represent for my place. Represent for your place, yeah. Hey. Can't forget where I come from. Can't forget my place. Can't forget where I come from. Where everybody knows my face. My roots they could never erase. I was born and destined to be great. With the support of my community that want to see the best for me. Fire up on all them who are Jet lag, jet lag, jet lag, jet lag, 
so she that jungle, the whole place a jet. Touch a firehouse and the whole place a jet. Ready to the jet, this baby a jet. Baby in a jet, money box a jet. On jet, come on and park in a jet. Choose and some I can't my body a jet. Retreat a jet, grand spin a jet. When me look, me look, me see the whole place a jet. I wonder why. The people love jet and so I wonder why. I wonder why people love jet and so I wonder why. Turbulence, 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 turbulence. Cruise control, cruise control, cruise control, cruise control. Jump a jet, jump a jet, jump a jet, jump a jet, fight a jet. Fight a jet, fight a jet, fight a jet. Circle the world, circle the world, circle the world, circle the world. Come so, come so, come so. See the answer, come so. Jet lag, jet lag, jet lag, jet lag. Band the runway, lift up the jet. Band the runway, we touch down the jet. Band the runway, we lift up the jet. Band the runway, we touch out the jet. Touch in a jungle, they will place a jet. Touch a firehouse and they will place a jet. Ready to the jet, this baby a jet. Baby in a jet, money box a jet. On jet, come on and park in a jet. Choose and some I can't my body a jet. Retreat a jet, grand spin a jet. When me look, me look, me see the whole place a jet. Jet, 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 jet. Turbulence, 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 turbulence. Cruise control, cruise control, cruise control, cruise control. Jump a jet, jump a jet, jump a jet, jump a jet. Fight a jet, fight a jet, fight a jet, fight a jet. Circle the world, circle the world, circle the world, circle the world. Come so, come so, come so. See the answer, come so. Jet lag, jet lag, jet lag, jet lag. I wonder why the people love jet and so I wonder why. <laughs> 